right, so we got the support gem one, so we'll go look at that. There's 174 of these. <laughs> Add is chaos damage. I mean, I'm just gonna just to speed through. I'm just gonna go over this one, right? The Path of Exile, support gem. I'm gonna read the yellow text. Uh, add a cold damage, add a fire damage, cause them to... So it increases the chaos, but lowers everything else. This one increases cold, but lowers fire. This one increases fire, but lowers cold and lightning. Oh wait, no, this also lowers light, fire and lightning. So the other elements. This one increases lightning, but lowers cold and fire. Additional accuracy. Uh, oh, I guess I have to read this now. <laughs> Give you more accuracy. Support any skill that hits enemies, making it more likely to crit a full life. Hit enemies on full life. So when, okay, so only when they're full, it makes it more likely to crit. It doesn't say how much though. Ammo con conservation, 40% to save ammo. Okay. Uh, Arcane surge, support spells you cast on yourself, tracking the memory you spend, cast on the Spending enough mana grants a burst of energy. So you get a cane surge after spending a maximum of your maximum energy. So you, okay, so you got to use the total amount of mana. So I mean, it'll regenerate. So whatever your maximum is, and it would just boom. You, you not it doesn't do damage, but you get like you get you go super saiyan, pretty much. <laughs> Area effects. So this increases. Uh, you know, cane surge spending. Oh, but only on your supported skill. So as long as you keep using it, so you want to use it on your big skills, and then you get a surge. Uh, it gets more AOE, armor explosion. It does more armor damage. What is this? Causing fire explosion when they fully break an enemy's armor. Okay. So it's only when you break the armor, it does the explosion. Crossbow, auto reload. Automatic reload when heavy stun enemy. Oh, okay. Wow. You get, you get your, your ammo back. Behead. Causing enemy to steal modifier from rare mod. Wait, you can steal enemies modifiers? Causing them to steal modifier from rare enemies to kill. But how long does that last, though? Maybe it lasts until you steal another modifier. <laughs> Biting code. Uh, support any skill that hits chill enemy, causing cold exposure, cold exposure to chill enemies. Uh, apply cold exposure to enemy, they chill, apply 10, 9 is 10 resist. Oh, so cold exposure means they take more from cold, right? Uh, apply cold exposure to enemy, the enemies they freeze, applying mind service. Okay, just repeat. Blind, biting frost, hit enemy, causing them to critically hit frozen enemy. Because, okay, so this takes up the freeze. But then it becomes crit. So you can freeze them and then guarantee crit. And then it takes up the freeze. Bleed Chan increases, uh, give the Blanche bleed. Blind, same thing. Um, Bloodlust. Support melee attacks, causing them to deal more damage against bleeding enemies. But prevent them from inflicting bleeds. Okay. So it gives more, this is more damage to bleeding enemies. But you can't do, you can't. If you put this on a, a attack that causes bleed, then it's gonna take out that bleed. Okay, so you just gotta do on something else. Break endurance. Uh, gain the endurance charge when supporting enemy fully break enemy. Okay. Break them. Break them. Break posture. Apply days when it breaks. So this one, you get a charge. This one applies days. Brutality. Uh, support any skill that deal damage, boosting his physical damage, expense of other damage types. Uh, oh, so you increase your physical, but lower everything else. <laughs> Poison, bursting plague. Poison from the supported skill also adds 200% damage per second to maximum plague. Uh, so poison enemies, they gain plagues over time. Support skill that cause, that can poison enemy gives you plague over time. The game plague over time and explodes on death. Enemy as plague. Okay, hold on. It's for also add twenty percent damage to enemy as. Oh, so you make your poison skill even poison more potent. 
and then they explode. Cannibalism. So I'm assuming you eat something, you heal. Oh, oh, per kill. You get life per kill. Chain. So for chain skill, do extra more chain. Um, the other substantial chain does less. Support skill chain for extra time. Oh, it's chaining. What can you? You only it only works on chaining skills, right? But can you use it on another non-chain skill? <laughs> Chaos Mastery. Oh, this is good if you're for if you're going chaos, right? Chaotic Freeze. Enemy taking chaos damage over time from supported skills. Receive freeze buildup. So that's why I'm thinking like you can do freeze and chaos at the same time. Get chaotic freeze. Clarity is back, right? You get mana regen. Uh wild sport active. It's active. So if you're not using it, is that what it is? <laughs> close combat. Support gem deal more damage to enemies when they're closer. And then so there's no downfall if you're farther away. It's better to have it when you're closer. So like a dashing strike when you strat straight to her doors them? Damn, close combat. I should this is for sure going on a palm move. Okay, because you dash through them, right? And then you hit them. Full exposure, uh, support skill, like exposure over time, does critical strike with cold damage. Okay, so. It flicks cold exposure for 8 seconds on critical strike. So when you crit, it does, extra, it does exposure. But you do less damage. Support is cold skill. Support skill can penetrate resistance. Combo finisher. Uh, support skill lose a combo if you don't generate a second, so you have to keep hitting. Uh, support skill. So this this is good for multi hits. Support skill attacks when supports okay. Support skill deal fifty percent more damage. Requires five. So like if you do a multi hit, that does give more. Cause it each is it each hit. Force skill cannot be used unless. Oh, this is a combo finisher, though, right? Never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Which is a combo generation? <laughs> oh, maybe they have a built in combo counter when you're attacking. You go like pow, 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 and then you just build a combo, and then. Concentrated effect. Support skill with an with a area of effect. Uh, causing area to be smaller, but deals more damage. Okay, con con conduction, increased chance to shock, control destruction, four skill deal more damage, but it can't do crits. Okay, corpse conservation, support skill that consume corpses, giving them a chance to take effect without destroying. Them. Oh, so you have a chance to. Okay, nice. That's consumption. You can keep getting marks <laughs> or whatever thing is those orbs. Corrosion. Uh, poison applied by support skill also brings armor equal to extra dark armor dealt. Okay, so it also can break armor. Damn, but it's like hella fast. <laughs> 350 percent more effectiveness. Uh, corrupting cry supported war cry have 30 percent less every effect, but a corrupted blood deals. So you can do damage with your cry? Interesting. Causing them to inflict corrupted blood on enemy. They deal 10% of your strength and damage per second. So they take they take like bleeding in a way. <laughs> uh cursing current. Shocking hits from supported skills at 3% to also shock enemies in the rate. Oh, so spread the shock. Critical damage has 50% more damage. Uh it does 20 oh they so do less damage but you have to crit so you're good at doing crit build cooling strike you can cool on a uh, unique enemy then on bosses let's count dazing can cause days build up equal to okay support skill days enemies last oh this makes it even longer oh support cries war cries never mind uh so this 
This can date enemy with your war cry instead. This one's for attack. Deadly poison. Support any skill that hits enemy, causing him to be less damaged, but it makes the poison also it makes the poison more, but you do less damage with the base skill. Okay. Decaying hex. Inflict decay, uh dealing 10% intelligence as chaos damage. Oh. Okay. This is a curse, right? Or no, it supports curse skills. It's on top of the curse. Uh, let's see. Deep cuts. More effective bleeding, but okay, so it's the same thing, but with bleed. Deep breeze. It makes breeze last longer. Okay. Devastate. But then you can just shatter it. <laughs> uh, support any skill that hits enemy, causing to apply broken armor to enemies when causing heavy stun. You fully break when you... Okay, so heavy stun. When you do heavy stun... I still don't know what exactly heavy stun is. But then you can fully break the armor. Double barrel. 30% uh, reload spell. You can reload faster. And you can have additional vault. Drain ailments. Support skill consume random ailment on target. Inflicting damage over time debuffs. When inflicting over time debuffs. So if you... So if you like shock them... And they do poison, it'll take that in, and then the, the poison will do more. Something like that, yeah. And the mental army. They have resistances. <laughs> the elemental discharge. The skill cannot apply these, but it consumes it. And then it'll trigger elemental discharge. Yeah. So if you have a thing that, like, consumes multiple of it, but then... Let's see, so if you shock an enemy and then you have a thing that consumes and does a discharge or consumes and does something else, does only one of them affect because it only takes off the ch shock and then you have some you don't have anything else to take off the other thing? Or you can like take off the shock together. I'm assuming it doesn't. I'm assuming you need to apply like multiple. Anyway, elemental focus. Support a skill that hits enemies. Causing deal more than elemental damage, but able to okay. You can put elements. Ailments. In Pyro Coal, you can support skills have cooling strike. So I'll just give it automatic cooling. Empower damage. That's for damage. Okay. Encumbrance. Uh 30% effect of slowing down enemy debuffs. Wait, supports. Causing and flick slow. Okay, so you can you can you give them slow. Does that count as a curse? I don't think it does. Enduring life. Uh causing enemies they kill to grant more life. Oh, so I give you life more charges. Last charges. Uh enduring mana, this is for mana charges. So life charges, mana charges. Enduring stuns. Endurance charge when you stun the enemy with a melee attack. Oh, and then we have a thing that converts a endurance charge to something else. You can use it for something else. <laughs> Energy bear berries. Uh, so you can support any skill that you can use, causing an enemy shield to recharge immediately if you are if you are stunned while using it. So if you're using it, oh, that's so situational, man. <laughs> oh my god. Any charge recharge be immediately, but not is not interrupted by damage when stunned. So you have to be stunned. Though. Uh, I I don't know how to read this. Uh, support that hits enemies, causing easy regenerate mana on shocking enemy. Oh, wow, you shocking get mana. <laughs> uh, enrage war cry, so it makes the war cry stronger. Use up ten rage, causing attack to do more damage. Is it per rage? Like, do you do 30% more per rage? I don't know. Essence Harvest. Recover 50 mana when minion dies. Nice. Eternal Flame. Support a skill have 100% to ignite. Increase ignite duration on enemies. Oh, but you ignite less often, but it didn't last long. Last longer. Execute. Uh, this is Cooling Strike, right? <laughs> That hits the enemy, causing to deal more damage. Oh no, it deals more damage when they're on low life. You can tend up killing them. 
Exploit weakness, support skill, consume energy, fully broken armored. Support skill, consume energy, fully broken. De oh, so when they're when they're armored broken, that's fifty percent more. Extended combo. Oh, and this yeah, so combo striking. So if you put this on the that one hit, you go bam 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 three, and you come a four. The the last one that hits longer it does more damage, right? You hit twice, boom boom. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Far reach, uh, force could have 80% reduction. Oh, at range, melee attack skill. Oh, so I'm hit further away, that's less okay. It's faster, faster casting, but there's less damage, faster projectile speed. Um, force skill more aggressive. Oh, this is for minions, <laughs> make them raw. What does aggressive mean? Fiery death. Uh, let's see. Supporter skills against United. The hits enemy causing explosion, killing United enemy. Oh, so if it, killing blows from the, so if you kill something that United a sixty percent chance to explode. <laughs> Fire exposure, more chance of getting ignited, but there's less damage. Fire mastery, fire skills, fire, fire resistance, penetration, fists of war. Uh, attacks are ancestrally boosted, no more than eight. Okay, providing ancestral boost every few seconds. Oh, okay. You get a boost. <laughs> curse zones from supported skills. Uh, focus curse. So is we. Come on. Causing them to curse more quickly after being cast. Oh wow. So now it depends. If there's a delay, I can do this, right? Fork. Major projectile projectile's fork. Oh wow. So you can so if you shoot the crossbow, it can be like this. <laughs> but there's less damage after forking. Fortress. Walls cr created created a circle instead. What if it's already curved? I don't know. Fragility hit from the uh, effect freeze. That would affect freeze when we click brittle instead. Enemies may brittle this way or are unaffected by freeze. What's brittle? Is it just taking more damage? So there's no freeze though. Interesting. Frost nexus that hits enemy causes them to create patches of chill ground. Uh, frost. Oh, so if you hit them, it makes. Freeze everywhere around them. Frost fire uh, hits enemy, causing it to consume and freeze and igniting the enemy. And frozen enemy to boost in effect of ignite. Okay, so if they're frozen, it has more chance of being ignited. And then, hold on, hundred percent more effect of ignite. Oh, it it makes it the ignite stronger. And it cannot then fix freeze and it consumes a freeze. So you change the ice into fire and the fire is like double. Frozen vortex that hits the enemy. It's force to hit enemy, causing it to cause a frozen vortex on shattering enemy. So you have to freeze them and then if you hit them with it while they're frozen, it just Okay. Um Glaciation. 30% freeze buildup can chill enemies. Heighten curse. Magnified the power of the curses. Interesting. Uh, herbalism. Increasing the recovery of life blasts. X bloom. Curses from support skills spread to nearby. Oh man. This could be good for that. Uh, go curse monk. <laughs> hinder. Chaos damage over time inflicted by support skill also hinders enemies. This is also good. Chaos over time. Holy descent. Support a skill created. Oh, created ground, created ground on landing. It's for leap skills. <laughs> Power glass. Support any skill, damaging skill that you use on yourself. Cause it to deal significantly more damage, but gain a long cooldown. Oh, okay. So you go around you kind of thing. Oh, it's a damage skill that you use on your, you, you can use yourself. But it makes it have a cooldown longer. 
Hypothermia. That his enemy make it more effective on chilling. Make it more effective again at chilling enemies. Freezing chill enemies. Okay. You have to chill them first. Ice bite. Attack gains 20% extra damage. Extra cold damage in 5 seconds on freezing an enemy. Okay, so you freeze them. The skill freezes them, it does more damage. It also infuses your attack with cold. Wait, oh. Attack gain 20%. Oh, it gives extra cold damage. Freezing enemy with... Oh, no. Any, no, no it, I, did, I did read it right. Okay. Ignite perflicate... Perfli can't read right now. Prolifer proliferation. The night caused by support enemies spread to all, oh, so you just spread the night. Skill hit with it, spread the night after ignited. In ignition. More chance to ignite. Immolation. Or immolate. The spill can ignite, but does more damage against ignited. Impact shockwave. Melee strike causing the. Wait a minute, this is probably better than if you're doing like the thing, you know, make it AoE. Oh, they have to stun the enemy, so hmm. if you can give him extra stun, then he also can. Okay. Impending Doom. Trigger Doom Blast when curses. When you cast yourself, curses you cast yourself. Wait, if you do a palm and then it triggers the curse, causing them to trigger Doom Blast. Wait, then I don't need Hex Blast. Oh no! Wait, if I hex blast, does that? It does they does consume me expire or expire me? Hmm. It does, right? If I hex blast, it would it automatically activate impending doom? I don't know. Interesting. Increase limit. Support skills have plus one limit. Skill duration. Oh, okay. Can have limited number of effects active at once. So it'll be like extra minion, but then it'll last long. What if you have permanent? <laughs> you put permanent minions and then you do increase limit. You have actually you just have an extra minion. Alright, increase armor break. Okay, more chance to break armor, invetable crit. Oh, I'm I this is what I'm thinking. Gain crit every second up to 200 percent and then once you crit you lose it. Okay. Inferno Legion. Minion summon for support. Take 20% of their max life as fire damage per second. So they, they lose their life, but then they can do fire damage. Minion of the Forest skill deal 5% of maximum damage as fire damage per second to their enemy. Wait, dude, are they burning themselves? <laughs> so they just run and just keep burning themselves, causing fire everywhere? Uh, more likely they die, though. Oh, and then you can chain it with one of those uh, when a minion died to get whatever. Innervate. Uh, attack to do yourself. Killing shock enemies will infuse all your attacks with lightning damage per time. Attacks gain 20%. Oh, so this is the lightning version of the ice. This is all oh, make it cost less. Interesting. Has agony, damage over time, debuffs inflicted on full time enemy, full life enemies by supported to do more. Oh, so you, the first time you put it on them, it does more. Okay. Iron grip, but it less duration. Support projectile attack, causing strain to increase the projectile damage. Jagged ground. Support slam, causing them... Oh, so you can actually give things jagged ground. Slam skills. Jagged ground created by supported skill, 20% more effect. Jagged ground created last second. Supported ground created jagged... Jagged ground when they deal damage in the area, only for... AOE, huh? Enemies created by this have to take 30% lead movement speed. Knockback gives a knockback. Nice. Last gas creates minions that create minions. Minions to to fighting on a short duration before dying when they're fatally wounded. Oh, so it gives them like Im immortal status for like 4 seconds. <laughs> Lasting shock. Uh, skill have 30% increase. Oh, so it gives Longer shocking time. That causes... Oh, so if they have shock and you hit them with it, it lasts longer. 
Last duration. When we oh, I guess if you want things to expire faster, then you take this. Not bad. Life drain. When you call, you get life. Life leech. Oh, that's good. In general, life tap. Cost skill. Take life instead of mana. Lightning exposure. So this is uh more likely to get shot. Yeah. Lightning mastery. Lightning skill. Lightning penetration. Lockdown. That. Support skill that hit enemies causing build oh this is to pin them down. Build up the pin. Maim support skill has 100 percent to maim. I don't know what maim is. Mana flare. Um cause a trigger to mana flare on critical hit. The mana flare consumes your mana to deal with fire damage. Interesting. So you do crit and you can do a mana flare. <laughs> mana leech. Many bolts, uh, one percent damage for each bolt reloaded in the past six seconds. Oh, the more you reload, the better. Me shield, they make them tankier, or, or let's see, have a 10 percent chance to taunt on hit. Uh, minion, oh, are from supporters are defensive, defensive. <laughs> okay, it makes them defensive. Melee physical damage. Uh, does more damage, I'm guessing, but it's slower. Okay. Minion instability. Minions from support explode when reduced to low life. You can make them kill faster. So, yo, know, you can make your... You keep have your minions keep exploding and then trigger stuff. Oh my god, you can go crazy with minion build. Minion mastery. Minion pack. Uh, support skills. 20% of their maximum life. Oh, you can make them die faster too and do, do more damage. Oh my god, I chained this with this. <laughs> the mobility. Uh, you 20% less damage, but less penalty. Okay. Momentum. After moving two meters during a single use for a skill. Oh, damn, you do the dashing. It. Oh, you can do this on a palm thing, too. This will last longer. Multiple charges. 30% to grant additional. Ch oh, okay. Combine that with that too. Uh, multiple poison. Important enemy additional time or extra poison. I have less duration. Multiple projectiles. Extra projectile, but I do less damage, I'm guessing, and less less attack speed. Multiple traps. Uh, I'm guessing the same thing. Yeah, same thing, but with traps. Damn, 75% though. Neutral overlord load. Electrocute prime enemies on hit. Primed? Interesting. Okay. Overcharge makes shocks more effective. But okay, so this is the same thing as the, one of the other ones. Shock longer, but last long. They, they do more. The shock does more effectiveness, but then it lasts shorter. Overpower. More stun buildup. Potential charge. Uh, sports to that with charge, giving them a chance in. Oh, you can save your charge. Oh, I gotta use this <laughs> for sure. Physical mastery, that's also good. Pierce, additional, pierce additional target, and does the pierce does less damage. Pinned, support skill does not do stun build up, but it does pin, pin build up. Physical damage from supported skill is pinning. Poison chance. Uh, give a chance to poison, precision, and more accuracy while it's active. What do you mean though by active? I'm not sure what this means. Pulverize. Uh, more bigger AoE. Less attack speed and more damage. AoE damage. Rage. Does less damage, but you get a rage on hit, so you faster. Oh, okay. Rage Forge. Uh, that can trigger yourself. Causing you consume rage, so you can consume the rage. If you don't have rage, it doesn't apply. And it does extra damage when you have rage. Oh. 10 rage if possible. Oh, you gotta have 10 though. <laughs> Raging Cry. Grants 10, 4 rage per 5 power of enemies when range. So if you're surrounded, it's for supporting a war cry. What if what if I give a Warcry monk? <laughs> uh 
Range combat. Support skill deal more damage further away. Okay, so this is like it's a close combat. Reduce cooldown. Alright. Uh reload speed. Realistic curse. Ritualistic curse. Curse zone from support skills. Delay, but also bigger. Uh, after 30%. Also, every it takes longer to curse. So it takes it takes longer for it to come out, but then it's bigger. Rupture, give bleeding on hit. Abrogate, oh, abrogate bleeding on hit. Oh, on stun enemy. So you can put, wait, hold on. Abrogate bleeding on hit. So you hit stun enemy, they more bleed. <laughs> Every fifth of attack caused more buildup. Ruthless. Wait, did they nerf this? I think Ruthless and POE1 was like three, right? Every three hits. But not stun build up, it's more damage. This one this stun build up. Steering flame. Uh let's see. That hits enemy cause inflicted and nice more damage, but it, it hits less damage. Wait, how come it doesn't have a blue thing? It's pretty much the same as it says burn. So higher chance of igniting, but the igniting does less. Second win. Uh, let's see, with cooldowns, giving them extra uses of that. Oh, so the cooldown is longer, but you can use twice before the cooldown activates, I'm guessing. Higher shock chance, shock revelation. Have a 50 chance, percent chance to also shock enemies in radius, so that's AoE. You can take away their shock. Recover a shield, but you take away their shock. Slower projectiles this is what I was mentioning. You have slower, slow drain. So you get mana when you call an enemy. Spell echo. One supporter has 30% less cast speed. But then you can get more AoE. Oh no, but you get cast another time, right? Second time. It echoes again. But then it also had 30% more effect. So oh, echo, echo. Uh, support skill that hit enemies cause those to break armor based on per Oh, so if you have more damage, you can break more armor. Fifty percent. Scomping ground. Travels. Travel skills do sh do shockwave. Wait, like dash skills? Interesting. Interesting. Stormfire support skill that enemy prolonging shocks that. Oh, so this is in that enemies. Okay, that hits enemy prolong shock. Shock, so if they're shocking, you put fire on them, it makes the shock last longer. <laughs> Affliction support skill deal 30% more non ailment damage over time. Non ailment damage, huh? But it's shorter. Okay. Okay. Unbreakable 40% more threshold shock threshold when using the skill. Oh, you get stun threshold, so you don't get interrupted. And whatnot. So like blocking. <laughs> Unleash. Uh you can't say making the effect reoccur when cast. Also, every second you don't use the skill is sealed. And then you unleash it all at once and do bigger damage. Vitality, regenerate life. Oh yeah, I know about this. While well, skilled actives. Wait, so you if as long as you're not using the skill. So it's active, it's not it's not on cooldown or whatever, it'll okay, I don't know. <laughs> Volley, additional projectiles. Also fire projectile from four points on each side of you, but it does less damage, so you can fire more. Elemental damage, more elemental, wildfire and knights. You spread to other oh, so this is the knight one spreads it. Wild shards, 20% to fire additional projectile in a circle. Interesting. Wind wave. Support any skill that you can use, triggering a blast of wind and do a knockback. And if you stun knockback, if you are stunned while using. Wait, hold on. What? Triggering a blast of wind that knocks back enemies if you are stunned while using it. Support any skill that you can use, triggering a blast of wind that knocks back enemy. Also, oh, if you're using it and you get stunned. Boom, get away from me. Window opportunity. Uh, channeling skills that have special effects and release at perfect timing, causing them to do more damage. Okay, window opportunity. Winner in touch. 
Wither the last four seconds for skill of less damage and okay. 20% to flick Wither on with on hit with chaos damage. Oh, that's pretty good even chaos. But yeah, that's all the sport of gems. Okay. Interesting. I gotta go over this again later. <laughs>